Permanent. Bacon Boy in Sharpie. Yeah. On our on our slate. It's totally permanent. <laughs> what is Twitter? Um, the stupidest thing in the entire world. Why is it so stupid? Because who cares what everyone's thinking? <laughs> Hi, I'm John Knowles at the Magic Castle in LA. Uh, beautiful hotel. We're about to go out for the opening night party for the 140 conference. Fresh apples. Wow. At the Magic Castle. What is Twitter? Twitter? I don't know. What is Twitter? Uh, I think that's something that you do between yourself and uh, your significant other. No? Twitter is this new thing where it's like Facebook, but it's like every minute of the day. Adam Wallace from the Roger Smith Hotel here at 140 Conf LA. Excited to be here with the Pan Man crew, B Simmy. Gonna go see, see what's going on. And so this particular narrative actually has real world um, social action at the end of it. One of the things that I discovered working on this conference, or, and I'm reminded about it daily, is uh, I think the word is systemic. The, the reality is that business models in multiple industries from around the world are being touched, being changed, and affected. So you have, I mean, this started out looking at celebrity, uh, media, advertising, and politics, and it's shifted into everything. And, and you know, it's just the, the way that this is being adopted by different groups of people who don't talk to each other, don't know each other, it doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, it's one world, we speak a language called Twitter. We're honored to be a part of it here from and the Roger Smith. So. And, and nice to see Roger Smith in LA, man. I just had my one year anniversary. But what I really enjoy doing the most is then taking the relationship offline. That it was actually a transformative process. It was an existential process. To find someone so similar through Twitter is really special. And I think Twitter has really helped kind of demystify the, uh, the, the mystery of the porn star. Um, if I can make somebody laugh, I think that's the most powerful retweet. For me, I'm like, really big into podcasts right now. They've been very compassionate. It's like I have a whole other family out there. Uh, I'm going to do my part by just uploading videos, uh, saying what I have to say. To connect with people, I use it as a way to finish doing my homework. Usually we'll just kind of see what they're talking about, or if they respond to me, then I'll respond to them. How are all these files that we're creating now going to be around for our kids, or our grandkids for that matter? I sort of saw how other educators were using it to share resources, to discuss topics of interest. I'm tweeting all the time, but I'm, I actually don't set aside time to do it, so sometimes I'll tweet from the bathroom. Right, we have autonomy, complete autonomy over the raccoons. I'm not that much of a YouTube fanatic like other people. I follow people who talk about shoes, I'm very into shoes. I post a lot of uh, information that's cutting edge, uh, when it comes to sustainability. Oh, we, we actually did scientific research and determined that 12 seconds was the optimal time to get your point across. I think everyone who got it understood that Blame Drew's Cancer wasn't about me. Social media enables me as a teacher 
to teach my students to go out beyond what I don't know. Last thing that I tweeted was, we're in the midst of a blackout at the Kodak Theater. Our light has blown every place we've ever plugged it in, so I think that it was 500 watts. It just put us over the edge. <laughs> we just took the power out of the Kodak Theater. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice.